Joining us right now, though, to talk about uh, uh, matters of uh, more importance, more immediate importance, is uh, Congressman Rush Holt from the great state of New Jersey, Democrat Rush Holt, and I say that for a particular reason. Hello, Congressman. How are you? Steve, good to be with you. Yes, welcome back to the show. We're not talking about any uh, pending uh, asteroids uh, striking or anything of, of that nature. Let's start. I hope not. No. Let's start with um, with the, your run, your announced run, and I assume you uh, got the uh, thousand uh, uh, signatures on the petition by this past Monday's deadline to be on the ballot in the uh, New Jersey primary. Uh, on the Democratic side, naturally, for the U.S. Senate seat be, that was vacated by uh, uh, Senator Lautenberg and his unfortunate passing. And then, of course, uh, the winner of that primary will go on against the Republican in the special election set for, by the governor for October. So where, where are you on, on that, uh, that effort uh, right now? Well, you're right to say it was unfortunate, the passing of, of Senator Lautenberg. Uh, he was a good friend and a real champion for ordinary folks. He never forgot where he came from, from a working family in Patterson and went to college on the GI Bill and always felt uh, really indebted to our society. He wanted to give back. And so when he died, um, I, well, fairly quickly came to the conclusion that I would like to carry on his fight, which was a, you know, a fight to protect ordinary folks and consumers and uh, workers and uh, children, um, uh, so, yes, I'm in the race. Uh, we needed 1,000 signatures. Uh, my volunteers collected oh, nearly five times that many. And um, so I'm on the ballot. Uh, it's a uh, competitive primary, uh, and I'm working hard, and I hope to be. In fact, I look forward to be the next senator from New Jersey. Now, of course, uh, you, you have a, a fine career in the Senate, and uh, I'm sorry, in the, in the House, uh, but uh, the na name recognition uh, from the polls that I've seen and name recognition is always an issue. In fact, if you look at the Democratic candidates running for mayor of New York City, I just saw a story today that the only person most people know, <laughs> for better or for worse, is Anthony Weiner's name uh, for that name recognition. But, but, but Cory Booker d does have name recognition. An early poll shows that he has a huge lead um, what's 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 the uh, what's the toughest part of, uh, of of mounting a campaign against uh, Cory Booker? Well, you know, as you mentioned, you mentioned Anthony Weiner. Um, you know, politics is not just about name recognition. It's about accomplishment. Uh, it's about uh, substance. It's about uh, um, uh, really having things uh, that you can point to that make people's lives better and that will make people's lives better. Um, so it's, um, you know, I have a, I have a record uh, on, in, uh, you know, civil liberties and, and human rights and consumer protection and worker protection in education, uh, you know, particularly in science education, but also in, in college access and affordability. I mean, you know, the, the legislation to uh, keep low student interest rates uh, for loans for college. Uh, you know, I helped write that bill. Of course, it's about ready to expire next month. Um, so I want to be around to continue that. On uh, uh, domestic spying, the government uh, spying on citizens, or the New York City Police Department uh, 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 profiling, I think I will use that word, uh, uh, ordinary people in neighboring states uh, I've been outspoken on that, and uh, there are things that I really want to work on there. I opposed the Iraq war. I was one of the early people to call for withdrawal, withdrawal from Iraq. I was also one of the early people to call for withdrawal from Afghanistan. Um, so it's a, it's a record that I point to that uh, a lot of people find, uh, 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 well, convincing. And uh, so that's my job over the next uh, two months now to make sure that uh, as many people in New Jersey as possible uh, learn my record, and I uh, I hope and I expect they will like what they see. Fair to say, fair to say, Congressman, that you believe uh, you have a uh, you're better prepared uh, based on your record for the uh, for the U.S. Senate than uh, than the uh, the uh, current mayor of Newark. Well, I you know I have been. Involved in you can make a huge headline if you if you agree yeah. with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I I am better prepared than any of the um, uh, any of the candidates in this primary, uh, and it's uh, I have more of a record to prove it. 
uh, you know, there there is one other member who's been in in the the House. Frank Pallone, uh, yeah. But yes, but I'll stack my record up against his or anybody else's uh, in this race and say that uh, uh, yes, I have what it takes to carry on. Uh, Frank Lautenberg's legacy. All right, we're talking to Congressman Rush Holt, a candidate for the U.S. Senate from the state of New Jersey, here on the Steve Malsberg Show. Let me ask you about what you just said about the uh, the, the spying and the NSA and the prism. Uh, we just had uh, James Sensenbrenner on in the previous yeah. hour, the man who introduced the Patriot Act on the floor of the House back in 2001. Uh, he's kind of a lone voice uh, in the wilderness right now, although he says more and more uh, people are coming up to him and saying they want to be a part of what he's trying to accomplish. Um, you object to uh, the revelations, or you, you object to what we now know exists, and, and you disagree with, for instance, the FBI director who today say uh, that uh, these, uh, these, these things are necessary and it could have stopped 9-11. Mayor Giuliani, by the way, said the same thing. It could have stopped 9-11. And, and the president himself uh, said this is necessary. So you, you're on the other side? I, you know, uh, going back many years to the previous administration, before the Obama administration, I was and have been one of the most vocal, probably the most vocal uh, uh, opponent in Congress. Um, I was on the Intelligence Committee. Uh, you heard General Alexander from the NSA today saying, well, this helped, uh, h helped foil plots. Um, I, I've had my go-rounds with, with General Alexander and uh, with uh, General Hayden uh, back then, um, uh, I, uh, I've you know you've read in the in the newspapers uh, that I actually accused them of lying to Congress. Um, and, you sure you uh, weren't talking about Eric Holder? Just a little joke. Go ahead, yeah, sorry. It's, uh, so uh, <laughs> I, I I think that it's uh, it what they're doing is uh, not only contrary to what we value in America. Uh, but the, it's not making us safer. Uh, so that's. Uh, so you don't uh, think it's making. So you don't. You don't believe it's it's thwarted you know, any I mean, any we'll, terror attacks. We'll, we'll put it this way. You know, uh, there there are, are various societies around the country that uh, value order, value order above anything else, and so they don't hesitate to knock on people's doors in the middle of the night and yank them out of bed and go in and make sure that they're up to no good. You know, if you have somebody marching into every home in America every few days looking for people who are up to no good, they're going to find some. They're going to find some people up to no good. Uh, that, is, that is not the America that uh, so many from around the world have moved to to avoid oppressive societies. Well, let me that ask you this. The, yeah. That is not the America that the... But we're not, but we're not doing... But, but, and, and look, and, I, and I, I, I don't want to badger you on this, but you're, yeah. you're not suggesting that that's happening here. Uh, intrude, you know, they call this domestic surveillance. Of course, what they mean in the intelligence community is domestic as opposed to foreign. But really, it is domestic. They're coming right into your domicile. They're coming right into your daily lives. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, they, uh, um, uh, it, is, uh, it is intrusive. Uh, it is chilling. And uh, it, is not a, uh, uh, it is not what we should be doing. In a, uh, uh, in a free society. One you more. Know, one, no, one, the, founder, yeah. the founders were concerned about uh, uh, excesses of government. And, you know, you, may, you and I differ on a lot of things, Steve. You know that. Uh, I'm proudly progressive, and, and uh, most of the time I align with the Democratic Party. But, you know, if the Democrats are wrong, as some of them are on this issue, uh, I, I, like you, would uh, want to call them out. Um, I, you know, you think I'm all government for everything. Uh, no, I mean, no, 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 are, no, no, no. There, there are things that the government. There, I'm, I'm, I'm teasing with you here. Oh, okay, bit. okay, okay. Okay, but uh, you know, there are things the government can do. There certainly are things we can do better together than we can do separately. There are things. There are times when we shouldn't be saying to Americans, "You're on your own." There are times we should be saying, "We got your back." But uh, we also have to guard against government excesses. And uh, this is, you know, the, the excesses of, you know, and the, the... Well, let, uh, me, let, let me, along uh, those lines know, before I run... the knock on the door in the middle right. of the night. I no, mean, no, this nobody... Intrusion, this absolutely. electronic intrusion is very much like that. Okay, fair enough. But I just want to ask you about something you brought up, and you brought up NYPD. And, you know, yeah. uh, the, today the Justice Department uh, made a comment that they might seek uh, Justice Department oversight of NYPD. Now, you know, NYPD has done a miraculous job 
in, in keeping New York safe, um, be it crime, regular crime, be it terrorism. Uh, they have a system in place. Um, we're talking about stop and frisk, which is what led the Justice Department to say what it said. But you're talking about the program where they, you know, um, infiltrated and, and surveilled mosques and, and various uh, meeting places. Uh, there's a piece in Investors Business Daily today, an editorial, that, uh, that talks about the fact that since October of 2011, mosques have been off limits to FBI agents unless they get special permission from the Justice Department. Now, this uh, permission is not needed for synagogues or, or churches. And Congressman Sensenbrenner had a big problem with that. Does that make any sense to you that the FBI, because of pressure brought by certain groups in this country, now treat Muslims and mosques special? Well, I mean, I think that was a corrective action because they had gone overboard uh, surveilling mosques and surveilling uh, food stores where Muslims, sh where Muslims shopped, or as they would put it, suspected Muslims. Well, you know, Muslims shouldn't be suspect right off the bat. Uh, you know, the, the Fourth Amendment says Americans uh, aren't guilty by presumption. They are found guilty by evidence. And they are, uh, uh, the, uh, we should cast suspicion only when there is probable cause to do so. Uh, that's a big difference between our country and many other countries. And it is an important difference. But uh, you, don't, you don't think communities where we know, we know that terror plots are talked about and, ha and have been hatched in mosques, we know about the blind sheik, we know uh, since the blind sheik, you don't think it, it behooves law enforcement oh, so to, think, so, to keep oh, a so lookout? You, oh, so you're suggesting, uh, you know, okay, let's ask about what his characteristics were. He was blind, so I think we'd better surveil every blind person, too. No, that, but that's we, silly. And, and that's we, silly. And, well, of course it's silly. Of but but, but it's Muslims, silly, but, but, but most point. terror attacks are, are perpetrated by Muslims. You know, they're not most most, most terror attacks are perpetrated by people who have both arms and haven't aren't amputees. So, OK, well, we ought to let uh, amputees go without uh, sus suspicion, but we should uh, suspect everybody who has two arms. I mean, that's the silliness of this kind of profiling. Well, uh, we, all right, we, we, because of time, we'll, 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 we'll end it there. But, hey, listen, good luck with your Senate run. I hope you'll come back. I hope you and the, and the other two will debate in this studio, sir. Well, I look forward to being back with you, and I'll be talking with you along the way and uh, hopefully be back with you uh, as a senator. Okay, sometime. sounds good.